Something really special happened when we reunited for Avatar 2. Zoe and me were always just very close, and that gave us absolute freedom to just bounce off each other and enjoy the ride. <laughs> I don't think they quite realized how much they had been in training for this movie for the past 13 years as parents. We couldn't have planned it better if I'd said, okay, what I need you guys to do is find somebody you really love and get married and have some children, and that's your prep for the next movie. She's now had several children. I've had several children. When we get back into this world, it's like putting on an old pair of gloves. You just have a trust for each other. I think they started to get it when they read the script, but I don't think they really got it until they were on set with the young cast that play their children and realized, oh yeah, I've said that. Well, I hate you, Tom Divinity! Now. Hey, that's enough! Don't make me come over there. But given Jake and the Teary kids, this one it opens up all the trials and tribulations that come with having family. Now the stakes are higher. Now their children are everything. They've managed to find their own version of happiness. To uh, the Sky people come back. Feel her. I hear her heartbeat. She's so close. So, what does her heartbeat sound like? Cannot let you bring your war here. Outcast. That's all they see. I see you. The way of water connects all things. Before your birth. And after your death. This is our home! I need you with me, and I need you to be strong.